not sure that I've recovered from last week's episode, but here we are. Hello, my fellow dweebs. <laughs> Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to my Solar Opposites reaction series. We're about to start watching season two, episode four, which is called The Emergency Urbanizer. And let's get watching. Hey Corvo, you care if I take a tiki nap in here? I don't know why it's robe. easier to drink and sleep on the couch than in bed, but it is. Go ahead, Terry. I'm just using the peace and quiet to recatalog all 10,000 data spikes. It's so relaxing. Oh, oh. Jesse's stupid girl pain corrupted all my eight. data, I and all three months of science is gone. The landing strip like Stacy K. Shut up. Why aren't you at school? Double duh. What did she just say? Summer is when we get to do anything we want. Like a screaming competition. Go! Ah! <laughs> This summer thing is not gonna work for me, Terry. What are we talking, poison? Put them in a bag and throw them in the quarry? I was thinking we could maybe just shave some glass into their food. I could use my pillow as a silencer and shoot them in their sleep, right in their fucking face. Or use the <laughs> pillow for a good old fashioned smothering, just like the ones we see on TV and movies, Terry. Looks like the solar opposites are killing their replicants. Thank God this candy came up. Jesse and I were just about to kill you guys. What? We were about to kill you guys too. That is so funny. Great minds think alike. Camp, 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 camp. Hey! I'm excited for a sexual awakening. I heard last year Julia Howland went to camp a girl and came back a woman. But then it turned out it actually was a woman and they never found Julia's body. Crazy, huh? Well, I'm excited to perform something from Angels in America on Talent Night. This is camp. Goodbye, we're leaving. Good luck. It, it looks the same as where we parked. Yeah, this just feels like the regular old wood. I whittled a boyfriend to grind on, you know, for when it happens. This is Nate Jacobs. We met at his bark mitzvah. Can we just go home? Yes. I'll never get to have a 500 days of summer quirky romance with a manic pixie dream boy. Everybody calm down. I'm an expert trailblazer. We just have to follow the dimmest star. It'll always lead directly south. We have a serial killer on our hands. Whoa, we're going straight to judging people just because of five identical murders? I'm not convinced. <laughs> I still think a cricket did it. A cricket? It's not a cricket! We probably just oh, have one human regular body. human murderer and not two genius level killer crickets. You're letting yeah, your imagination run wild. You're not months. an executive story editor on the hit Fox drama Bones anymore. This is real life. <laughs> Yummy luck, it's time. Uh, are you sure? We're dying, we have to. Uh, what are you talking about? The emergency urbanizer. It's a life raft for the land. We only have one of these. Ah. You can never do it again. Oh, oh no. This cannot be good for the environment. Oh, maybe that's better for the environment than what we do. At least they're keeping the trees around. Wow, it's actually so magical. Wow, I didn't know crickets could use paper. You see how smart they are? Not a cricket. He was totally reaching Did his for something. Numbers we say, saved or his letters say Thank you would be nice. We could have brought him in alive. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, whoa. We didn't discuss that at all. Howdy, I'm wood actor Wooden Harrelson. Star of the upcoming <laughs> film, Now You Three Me, Escape from the Pokerverse. <laughs> Welcome to the Wooden City, the most exciting, actually growing city in the world. Let's split up and all get jobs. That way it'll go faster. But shouldn't we stick together? No, it would be faster if we all went and got our own jobs and made money as fast as possible. I'm going to be a famous 10-figure actor and then maybe retire as a two-figure voice actor. Come on, kid. What have you always wanted to be? <laughs> What's your craziest <laughs> dream? Spill it. We're all having fun. Oh, Thomas Middleditch. Oh, they're each gonna get their little I want arc. Oak, not maple, you stupid birch. Help me! Oh. You're fired! Five million? I don't get out of bed for under ten, you stinky cock smoocher! Wow, that is without a doubt the coolest guy I've ever seen. Even the scabbers <laughs> are cool. Interesting. I would have picked this job for Terry. You done good. You done real good. Why don't you come down to see me at the cab stand? We could use a kid like you. Ever since I could remember, I wanted to be a gangster. Good fellas arc. When you're all behind mine, but it's hard oh, to find. Oh no, this is Terry. <sighs> next. You mean like next round of auditions? Typically that's called a callback. You were wildly talentless in every way except making us feel embarrassed for you. Are you serious? Mm. I'm embarrassed mm. for you that you can't see generational talent when it's right in front of your fucking faces. Sweetie, the only <laughs> chance you have at being referred to as talent is if you become a prostitute. A prostitute? Ha! I would never. You want to have some fun, sugar? How much? Oh, uh, ten grand cool. an hour? No fucking way. Fine, 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 fine. Ten fine. Grand for two hours. hours. Handsome mouth only, best and final. Nope, no, maybe. No, no, too hippie. No, needs more brown. Nope, kill yourself. 
kill me. This is brilliant. Get cancer. <laughs> I love you. Die in World War Z. Jesse. The FBI's here, but we're fine, right? Nothing to worry about. Trip? Yeah, yeah, we're fine, mm -hmm. but nothing to worry about. Oh my god, Trip! Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to do a mafia story, you piece of shit! <laughs> How long have they been in these woods? And who is watching the pupa? Freeze! Uh oh. What are those fortune? <laughs> Interested. Oh. Leave it to solar opposites to make a bunch of people buried in nerds so traumatic. You truly are the queen of wooden city fashion. Whatever. Congrats on all your success. Who gives a shit? <gasps> You guys came? No major issues personally or professionally. Ditto for me. Built myself a sweet little career in the customer <laughs> service industry. I'm my own <laughs> boss, so I set my own hours, come and go as I please. As you can see, I've reached the pinnacle of the fashion world. And it doesn't fill the hole in your heart. I have a really important sales come. I mean, conference balls. No, I mean, what? team skeeting. Uh, shaft holder meeting. I mean, my shattered ass is healing. <laughs> ah, I'm shattering the glass ceiling. I, I should go as well. I'm very lonely. I miss you guys. I know we're all deep into our separate lives, but I'd like it if you could stay. I mean, just for a little. To be honest, I flew too close to the sun. We all lost sight of our goal, making enough money to get back to our old lives so we could all be together again. We picked our path. And How we is this going to be ruined? Again. Um, guys, the city's on fire. I was going to say, this is way too nice of a moment. Bye, Cap. I'll miss you. See you next summer. Yep. <laughs> Yes, we did it! The solar opposites emotionally arced! Now that's a story! Fuck you, yes. no it wasn't! No, wait, we did arc! I I'm proud of all of us! Just in time, because we go back to school tomorrow. Oh, really? That that that's a bummer. See? I knew you'd Ooh. come around and want to spend more time with us! I gotta be honest, I feel bad the Wooden City is gone. They had a really good Arby's to get fucked in. It's for the best. The Wooden <laughs> City turned us into our worst selves. Oh, it's so peaceful here in the woods. Finally. So oh, peaceful. Oh, their vacation home. Right. You know, without summer break, we would have never found this condo. <laughs> Shit, the moose! It's gonna be It hurts! No! Oh, Jesus, fuck, it bit my leg off. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known that Solar Opposites was not going to do your standard run-of-the-mill summer camp episode. And of course, what they gave us was so much more enjoyable and outrageous. I really like what they did too with making fun of different popular movies or movie genres, and it was fun to see where each of the characters ended up and why. I feel like it all makes perfect sense, except for maybe Corvo's. I would have predicted him to play it a little more safe in the big city, but maybe there was a part of his character that was yearning for that danger and that adventure because it was so unlike who he is in his regular life. But yeah, Yumulak as the Wolf of Wall Street was great. I loved Jesse's whole Devil Wears Prada thing. And Terry made the perfect pretty woman. Let's be honest. And we got to see more inside the wall this episode. Halk is getting closer and closer to uncovering some of these murders that have been going on. I said a few episodes ago, and I said it pretty confidently, that Tim was the one who was conducting all of this. But there's also a chance that it's not him. I mean, I'm like 95% sure that it's him, but regardless of who's behind it, I'm just excited to see what happens next. Question for the comment section, do you think that Tim is the one orchestrating these murders? And if you do, why? If you don't, why not? And who do you think could be behind them? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every week. And if you would like access to full-length reactions, early release to my videos and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Alicia Dweeb. And I will see you dweebs later.